Hey, welcome back to M Hood Fishing. I am on the Wisconsin River, just outside of Prairie du Soc. Behind me is the Prairie du Soc Dam, you see that? Now, I am camped here at a campground called the VFW. Some of you already know this, because I've been here for a few days and I got a few days left. Had a really rough morning. This is Tuesday morning. Uh, it was pretty rough. Yesterday, there was a major change on the river. They slowed down the flow coming out. They had a, a high water period from a lot of rain before I got here. Water's still high, but it's dropping. The flow has changed since yesterday. But what really made the morning miserable is it just pissed down all morning. It rained. It started raining around 3.30, 3.50 and it was off and on and then steady till about noon uh, i tried to fish it didn't do very well just caught a moon eye so it has stopped it seems to be holding for now we are going to do a tight line session on this beach here for sturgeon cats and others <laughs> so let's get at it this is part of that moon eye i caught <laughs> Now that makes a good cup bait moon eye. It goes soft, so I never prefer to fillet the moon eye like I do other things. So just a piece like that, you see how I did it. And that's an off four team catfish hook. And we're gonna use a, a three ounce no roll. Wow, this river has dropped quite a bit since I fished here. I'm gonna put this out first all right next one bunch of night crawlers sturgeon love this you gotta leave it just a little bit hanging off so it wiggles around that's very attractive to them and other fish up here and that's an ot three kale i'm using 50 pound fluorocarbon leader on both the rods that i've already talked about and both of these have three ounce snow rolls all right, so I've got two lines out for two big fish, sturgeon and sturgeon. <laughs> There's a lake sturgeon and shovel nose. I've never caught a shovel nose, but I would like to catch more channel cat here out of this river and flathead. There are supposed to be some really big flathead here. So the cut bait will do that and the worms will do that too. But there's all these other things that I could catch though i don't expect much because of the changes in the river and the uh, rain that just came we will try anyway so we're using an l2 needle point here and it's an ot4 l2 needle point we're going to put red wiggler on like that with a bit hanging off to attract a fish i know some of you guys don't do that down where everybody knows my name Louisiana I wouldn't do this in Louisiana because every time I do I get stripped but I never catch nice fish up here in Wisconsin when I don't leave anything hanging off it's a little different game up here all right so this rig is a little different it's 20 pound on the main line whereas the other two are 80 pound braid on the main line this is mono the we're using a three ounce slip weight and we're using about 18 inches of a 20 pound fluorocarbon liter so we're going to go for this first seam line i just saw a fish disturbance there too oh we landed just before it that's not bad let's see what we can pick up here i caught a moon eye in the same area earlier I'm gonna use this tree here. Will you watch that rod behind me for me? So I realized that the better sturgeon spot is of course behind the dam. Well, that's about a mile away and I'm on my own. And this beach is pretty good too for all kinds of fishing and it's right close to my camp. So later on in the week, I will go behind the dam and fish there. That's where I caught last year, caught two sturgeon in one morning there. But I know that you can catch sturgeon at this beach because people have done it and they've done uh, other things here too. You can catch all kinds of fish right here at this beach. But if you see that this is a bend here in the river and that's the tighter, this is the tighter end. 
so it's going to be deeper over there whereas we're the lazy end we're the bigger end so it's shallow so yeah don't know what to expect Oh, there is a fish here. I wasn't 100% sure about that. Man, there are some nice bluegill here. I've seen, e that's not even the biggest one. I am going to change this hook size. <clears throat> I've been having problems with gills swallowing these hooks. I can't find my hemostats. I don't know what happened to them. Maybe Tom has them. I looked everywhere, I just emptied my tent looking for them. Don't know what happened. So I can still catch gills with these. These are a size two octopus. And I think I'll have a better uh, chance of not gill hooking them. Here we go. I'm making my baits look irresistible. I started fishing these red wigglers downstream from where I began. I'm just oh, on the opposite side of my other rods, right in front of these trees. It can't make up its mind out here. It's either gonna be warm or cool. It's back and forth, back and forth. I'm gonna put that on the shoe rack. Well, you have no idea how upset I am about losing my hemostats. Every time I lose a pair, oh man, I'm down for days. It's not as bad as losing a big fish, but uh, I wonder what happened to them. They're always in my back pocket, and today they're not. I think actually yesterday is when they started missing, and I just assumed I had them in the tent. They're not there. I'm going to have to backtrack. You know, <laughs> I bet you anything Tom has them. That would be so wonderful if he does, because they're like 11 or $12 a pair down where I live. Luckily, I have a spare, but it's <laughs> they're sitting at the house right now, and the house is in Louisiana. This is Wisconsin. We got us a nice fish here. This is off the Red Wigglers. Oh, 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 he got us into a snag here. Let's see if we can get him, get him out. Here we go. Oh, it's another gill. Let's see, did we? Ah, yes, better job this time, better job. Look at that. This one's lighter color. Yes, we didn't hook you deep, buddy. Got you just, whoa, perky. Must have been in, at Starbucks earlier. All right, go home and get big. I think this is the only place I ever fish where I use three ounces of lead to catch bluegill. And I tell you, finding the right hook size makes up for the lack of hemostats, which I'm still upset about. I had no idea that I had a fish on. I was just pulling this up to check it. And look, I've got a fish. This is my sturgeon line. What do I got? Ho oh, ho, look at the size of that. That's a really big buffalo. Well, it's not big, but I got myself a buffalo. In the nose. Ooh. There we go, it's a mixed species video. It's a buffalo. Look at that. All right. I had no idea he was there. Whoop, there he goes, like a dart. This session is going way too slow. It's 4.30 now. I'm gonna wrap it up and go start something else. It was pretty interesting, though really, really slow. And I think it's all about the changes 
that we went through from yesterday today the flow is down <clears throat> that changes the, the fishing it might take a couple more days for it to come back and there was a pretty good rainstorm this morning that I had to suffer through but it's all good it is what it is let's go do something else see you next time